Hey, what's up guys? This is Steel Rain coming back at you with my part two review of the CL Racing F4S flight controller. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and show you guys how this thing is set up here. So as you can see, I've got it all wired up with an FPV camera and a VTX. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you exactly where everything's connected here. Now, as you can see, I'm running a uh, Runcam Eagle 2 Pro here. And the uh, connection in the back the, for the OSD dongle is the blue and the black wire. So basically what you're going to do here is the camera control pad, the blue wire coming off of the, the dongle extension here, you'll just solder onto here. And then right next to it is the camera's main video uh, feed through for the OSD. I also ran the the uh, extension for the, the camera control dongle right here to the camera ground. I chose not to use the, the camera power or anything because usually boards like this, even with a low ESR capacitor, tend to have some sort of video issues or lines. So what I basically do is I pull everything from the main power uh, through the VTX and then let the VTX feed my camera through uh, 5 volt and I've never had any issues going that route although I have it I do have it wired up separately different on this board so uh, the VTX as you can see is the uh, AKK FX2 it's a it's a stackable new receiver uh, 40 channel it also supports smart audio so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to set that up and I'll also have a review here on the future on uh, that uh, VTX receiver so over here is basically your your dedicated pads for your VTX so here's your VTX signal wire there's your power wire your ground wire and both of these are being fed off a of 9 volt if you have it selected up here which it comes automatically selected with 9 volt just solder these two bridges here for 5 volt if you want to go that route and then it's got a dedicated uh, TX4 pad here for smart audio. So pretty pretty simple and stupid there. You know, everything on this board is, is set up uh, pretty much how you'd have it in your quadcopter for FreeSky S-Bus, uh, you know, minus the ESCs and motors. Uh, telemetry pad is right there uh, for, for uh, FreeSky telemetry. Uh, it's, got, it's an inverted signal, so that should be fine there. And of course, you know, you got your spectrum power there um, and your, your, your satellite wire there. So uh, pr pretty much really easy and simple to set up. Um, can't really tell you much more. I mean, it's all, it's all simple, and, simple and easy. Uh, on the bottom side, I'll flip it over. You'll see the main power wires here, uh, positive and ground. And then also have a... Uh, low ESR capacitor just to help with some of the video noise. So with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, get on to how to get into the... Uh, before I start all that, I was corrected after my first video on this flight controller. The uh, camera control feature is not through Betaflight OSD. It's still through the camera's OSD. It's just that now uh, the Betaflight developers have decided to add uh, a pad and some, some programming to allow you to get rid of the dongle. So everything is going to be done through your transmitter and your pop-up OSD, but it has nothing to do with the Betaflight OSD. It's all still uh, your particular FBV camera's settings OSD. So we'll go ahead and get started with that, and I'll show you guys how, how to get that done. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and show you how to get this going here. Uh, as you can see, the Tyrannus, uh, every, every stick is at its middle or low position throttle. So what you're going to do is go ahead and raise it to mid-throttle and to get into the camera's OSD menu, move it and hold it to the right. And as you can see, it just popped up there. I'll go ahead and move that over for you guys to see. And pretty much your, your right stick up and down is going to be your selection. And say your, your uh, left stick, move it to the right one notch and it's going to make your selections there. So, pretty pretty easy. Go ahead and show you that again. Just to the right with the throttle stick. And you just move down to make your selections. 
Pretty easy, pretty simple. Nice little feature. You don't have to worry about the uh, dongle anymore. And I'll also be having a review coming out on the the uh, Runcam Eagle 2 Pro here that uh, lets you choose between NTSC and, and PAL. So that's, that's pretty much going to be it, guys. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, please leave them below. And if you enjoyed the video, please uh, like and subscribe and share. See you guys.